I don't know who started the trend about calling out kids in Sephora, but take it back. Take it back right now because you just unleashed the spawns of Satan. Oh, my Lantis. I never really had a bad experience with the kids in Sephora. I honestly just let them, you know, run around and do their own things. Because that was once us, once upon a time. Like, I know people in my grade in high school, like, freshman year, loved Victoria's Secret. Everyone used to always go there. Or pink. Everyone wore Victoria's Secret or pink. And then when we were in middle school, everyone wore Juicy Couture. I don't know what they were fed, but these kids, these kids at Sephora, they bite. They bite, bro. I was in the city and I had to kill some time for my order pickup. So I was like, oh, perfect. There's a Sephora right over here. I needed some makeup anyway. So I go in and there's kids everywhere. It's running around like this is the McDonald's playpen. Honestly, I don't care. Do what you want to do. Just don't bother me. So I go over and I'm like in the Dior section because, you know, I'm caving in. I wanted to buy some Dior lip oils. So I went over there. Let me tell you, every single lip oil mangled. They were all either drained or like really messed up. And then look at look at this lipstick or lip gloss thing that I wanted. The tube was so violated, like, they, like, scooped up all the insides of it, and every single lip gloss was like that. I was like, oh my gosh. As I'm looking up here, I find, like, a little box that's tucked away, and I was like, ooh, what is this? So I pick it up, and I'm like, oh, it's the rose gold lip gloss, and I was like, you're, I found it! And I did the stupid mistake, and I said that out loud, and I didn't realize there was a little, like, five foot something next to me. This little girl starts speaking to me and she's just like oh my gosh is that the dior rose gold lip balm and i was like yes it is and she was like is there another one and i was like um unfortunately no i don't think so i think i just managed to find the last one it was like tucked away in the little corner she starts pouting and she was like oh can i have it and i was like mm, sorry i've been actually also looking for this so you know you can always ask the ladies in the front if they have more and she was like but i want that i don't want to ask the ladies in the front and i was like oh god it's them i've heard stories about you then i was like it's okay i will be the adult in this situation so i was like here i'll go ask them if they have another one so i go and i ask her and the lady was like oh no we're actually fully sold out i'm surprised you even found that one and i was like oh so i was like sorry they said they don't have any more um maybe you can try to order it online or something ask your parents about it and she's like but you have one in your hand and i was like i do and she was like give it and i was like no so it's in my hand like this right she reaches over to grab it and i'm like uh-uh don't do that because i'm five foot ten and she's like five foot on the dot i'm like uh-uh don't do that i'm sitting there like this like damn what a good day to be tall right as i'm thinking that this damn little kid hits me with her freaking stanley cup he hits me with the damn stanley cup. do you do you know how heavy a stanley cup is that that's that's heavy Got me stuttering it was that heavy, but you know what I'm not gonna do? Back down, never what, never gonna back down. So I got hit and I'm like, oh. All right then. And she sees that I'm not moving because I kind of just twitched, but I was just like, there's no damn way a little kid just hit me, bro. Because these hands, they're rated E for everyone. I swear, just trust me one more time, just test me. So she was started trying to pinch me, but I was wearing a jacket and she's like, give it to me. And I was like, no. <laughs> no even more so no so instead she steps on me and uses like the back of her ug or something and like completely scratches up my leg look look at my leg she like cut my leg with her shoe this time i'm pissed because i'm like okay you know you hit me once okay second time i was like you know you need to knock it off so i get down to her and i was like stop it you are not getting to stop acting like a spoiled brat and she was like she starts literally screaming and crying and i was like where is your parents Ooh, you need a leash where are your parents and i'm like oh my gosh these parents are definitely an enabler and as she's screaming and crying the sephora employees come in and they're like what the hell is going on and i tell them this little girl just hit me with her freaking stanley cup and then she stepped on me and they all literally look so tired bro i was like oh god this is not the first time you guys heard of this have you I'm trying to calm this little girl down the whole time she's screaming but i want that she's like oh my gosh you've never been told no before have you and then her dad comes up and i'm like thinking to myself oh my gosh this dad is gonna give me a headache he comes over and he starts apologizing profusely to me and he's like i am so sorry i'm so sorry she's acting like this i don't know why she's acting like this but i'm really sorry and i was like honestly this is not what i was expecting i told him i was like you know it's fine but you need to control your kid like she got lucky it's me someone else isn't gonna be as nice as me and then as i'm saying that she's like but she still won't give me the lip gloss so you know what i did bought it for myself because if you think that i'm gonna sit here and get kicked and hit with that damn stanley cup and i'm gonna give it to her you bugging bro i didn't even get to try it yet uh, i guess i'll try it now i already got used and abused girl this is so mid <laughs> i did not need to get stomped on for this but i come with receipts this is a little girl obviously i can't show her face because she's mad young but look how big that stanley cup is that that hurts getting hit by it honestly she looks like a little karen like she got a little gray shirt and then a sweater vest and uggs and stanley cup literally a little karen bro like who summoned these kids
Yeah, a little kid hit me with her big ass Stanley cup and also stepped on me because she wanted the Dior lip gloss. But guess what? I actually went and bought all the last ones just so she couldn't have it. <laughs> can you believe this is like $150 in my hands right now? I don't even know if I can return this because it goes on your lips. Like I don't know Sephora's policy, but let's try it, I guess. So first is I'm going to do the lip glow, which is rose gold. It looked really pretty on the model. I I tried a little bit of it, you know, in my last video, and I, uh, girl, she was mid, so I don't know. Let's try again, because on the model, it was mighty pretty, like. It's giving nothing. <laughs> Look how pretty it looks on this, but mid. The flash on it looks good. It's supposed to have gold shimmer on it. Wait, let me see what it looks like flashback camera. Is it worth it? Is it worth 40 something dollars? Is it shining? Okay, I personally would not keep this one. I rewatched the footage. So let's check the lip oil now. This one is in Berry. Okay, that is quite purple indeed. Because the kids at Sephora all dumped the, you know, whatever was in the bottle out, I couldn't even see what color it was. Wow, she's indeed uh, giving Berry, I guess. She's really purple. The one thing about the Dior thing is I really like the wand. Which is like, I don't know if that's worth $40 for a wand, but like, let's be for real, the wand's mad nice. Honestly, if you are a woman of color and you have lips like mine, you know, where it's a little darker on the outside. This color actually works really well with blending in with our natural lip. Okay, next is the color Mahogany. That's pretty. Okay, but I also have the Rihanna one, the hot cocoa one in this color. So like jelly-like. <laughs> Is there a difference between this one and the last one? You know, I could be a little Delulu right now, but I feel like it's making my lips look a little bigger. Definitely being Delulu, but I like this one too. But do I need this many of those? They're only like a little different from each other. Like, I don't think it's a crazy color contrast. I don't know. Last, let's try the most popular color. It's the one Rosewood. I saw Erica Titus using this one. Again, in the tube, they all look pretty pigmented, but I feel like on the lip, it, it don't give the same vibes. Okay, let's see. Like, is it me? Am I the problem? Mm, I think I like this one the least. Final answer, is this all worth it? No, in my opinion. You just need one. You don't need four like I did. But also, like, you could also be okay with the two-faced ones. And I found those at TJ Maxx before for, like, $8. You don't need to be spending $40 on this. I really think you're just buying it more for the name. The applicator was pretty nice, but, like, the actual oil an oil it's okay this is me de-influencing you i guess but do what you want with this information if you still really want it or you saw something that you like then you know go ahead but if you feel like you've been missing out i personally think you're not i mean the applicator yeah it's not super sticky on the lips but besides that i have worn it in the past before i wore a different color i don't even remember but it wiped off pretty easily but if you like a more like thinner solution where you don't feel like you're wearing like thick lip gloss, this is good. But 40 something dollars is kind of expensive. So, or maybe I'm just broke. I don't know. But your choice. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is Future Me editing. So I know a lot of people are going to ask like, okay, what happened after you bought the stuff? And bought? So the little girl just kept screaming and throwing a tantrum on the ground. And I kind of just looked at it and I was like, looked at the dad and I was like, it's not my problem. Like he did. He apologized to me. But at the same time, like. You know, you're saying like, oh, I don't know why she's acting like this way, but like she's acting hella entitled. This is not the first time she's probably thrown a tantrum like this. So in my mind, that's just bad parenting. But at the same time, I don't care enough because I'm never going to see her again. Well, I sure hope not. So yeah, I left. And I think at the end, security actually was called because she was throwing such a big tantrum that the Sephora workers didn't really want to <laughs> didn't want to deal with her anymore. So I know security was called when I was walking out, but I don't know specifically what happened. I mean, she was a little girl, so I doubt much happened. But yeah, there was no mom there. It was just the dad. And then she, I forgot to mention this, but she already had a basket full of things. Like she gave it to her dad to hold in the midst of her tantrum, which I saw that. And the dad just took it. And I was like, bro, if that was me, first off, my mom would have smacked me the first time for throwing a tantrum. My mom would have smacked me a second time for smacking a stranger. And third off, she would have put every single item back. Matter of fact, she would have made me put every single item back. 
But the dad just held it and just watched it and was like, no, honey, like, you shouldn't cry like this. Let, let the lady have it. She had it first. And the whole time, the little girl was like, no, but I want it. That's not fair. I want it. And I was like, oh, oh, God. Ew. So, yeah. And a, a lot of people also were like, oh, why didn't you whack her back? Um, it's a 10-year-old. If anything, I'm going to get kicked out. I'm going to get in trouble. So it's like, whatever. I also asked the Sephora worker, I was like, is this the first time you've witnessed this before? And she looked at me so tired. And she was like, no, it's not. And I was like, and then I told her, I was like, what happened to all the testers? And apparently she told me that Sephora is actually getting rid of a lot of the testers because people keep damaging it. Like I saw all the tubes were completely damaged. I couldn't see the way anything looked. And it was just super messy and dirty looking. So she was like, yeah, because of that, we're thinking about getting rid of it. Like they're still in the works, but they're pretty certain they're going to start getting rid of testers, especially the skincare testers. They look so bad. She told me the worst of the worst is uh, Drunk Elephant and Rare Beauty. She said those two. Th oh, and um, what's the watermelon brand? Um, what is it? What is it? I forgot but you know the watermelon brand that's pink and yeah yeah that brand those three brands they say get violated by the kids so she was like yeah literally every single day especially after school she says that it's literally all kids and they bully all the customers but because they're kids they can't do anything and also number two they said a lot of the times the kids steal but by law they can't stop the kids so the kids just steal it and leave so she looked at me and she was like i'm I'm so sorry for what happened today. And I was like, it's, it's okay, girl. I'm sorry you work here, if anything. So these kids need to be stopped, bro. Has anyone else had experiences like this too? Or, okay, maybe not hit like I was, but like any bad experiences too? Let me know.